In this question, we have three green squares placed side by side, one small, one medium, and one large. Some measurements are given here like the total bottom length is 25, the vertical gap between these two squares is 3, and the vertical gap between these two squares is 8. Our goal is to find the total area of all three green squares combined. So can you solve it? Let's solve this step by step. As a first step, let's label the side of the medium length square as A, the side of the large square as B, and the side of the smallest square as C. Since all three shapes are squares, each of their four sides will be equal. That means the medium square has all sides as A, then the large square has all sides B, and the smallest has all sides C. Now, if we carefully look at the base, the three squares are placed in a row, so their side lengths add up to the total horizontal distance. That means A plus B plus C is equal to 25. You see we have three variables, A, B, and C, and therefore we need three equations to solve for them. We have already found one, which is this. Now step two is understanding the vertical measurements for finding the other two equations. For that, consider first the medium and the large square. This piece has side length A, and this is equal to three, right? So this entire length will be equal to A plus three. But hey, this entire length is the same as side length B of the large square. So this means we have B equals A plus three. Noise, similarly, consider the small and the large square. This piece has side length C, and this is equal to eight, right? So this entire length will be equal to C plus eight. But this entire length is again the same as the side length B. So this means we have B equals C plus eight. This way, we now have three variables and three equations, so we can easily find the values of A, B, and C. For that first substitute, the value of B equals C plus eight here to get C plus eight equals A plus three. Now subtract three from both sides to get this as A equals C plus eight minus three or five. Now substitute this A in terms of C and this B in terms of C here to get C plus five plus C plus eight plus C equals 25. This will give us three times C and this will give us 13, and that equals 25. So 3C equals 25 minus 13, or 12, and thus C equals 12 over 3 or 4. Now plug this value of C here to get B as C plus 8 or 4 plus 8, which equals 12. Then plug this value here to get A as C plus 5 or 4 plus 5, which equals 9. Now the last step is to calculate the total area of these three squares. We know the formula for the area of a square is side times side. For the medium square, the area is 9 times 9, which gives 81 square units. For the large square, the area is 12 times 12, which gives 144 square units. And for the small square, the area is 4 times 4, which gives 16 square units. Now. Let's add all three areas together. 81 plus 144 plus 16 gives 241 square units. And that's our final answer. So good.